guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collective haul and it is all makeup products and yeah. I've been waiting to do this video for like two weeks now since I've been shopping and it is collective because I've been going to a few different stores and I've accumulated these things in this bag here for about two to three weeks. So I wanted to finally share with you things that I've picked up recently at the store. And I also went to New York City two weeks ago, I believe, and went to the big Sephora in Times Square. That was literally like the best moment ever. That thing is huge. So if you guys are in the area or going to New York City, definitely go stop at the Sephora in Times Square. You will love it. It's literally makeup heaven. So anyway, I, went. I personally love watching other people's makeup hauls and things like that because I just get intrigued to go buy new makeup products, just check out the new things that are at the store, and I just love to shop, so I really have no other excuse for that. And I also see that you guys love hauls, so I want to create content that you guys love, obviously. So yeah, enough with the ramble. Let's go ahead and get on into the products that I had picked up recently. Okay, so I have everything in this bag right here, as you can see. And a lot of things are from different stores. There's miscellaneous thrown in here. So the first thing that I see is a Real Techniques beauty sponge. If you know me and you've been watching me, I love beauty sponges. I apply my foundation with them now all the time. I never used to, but I just think it's a really great way to get your foundation to look really flawless. So this is by Real Techniques and it is perfect. I got this at Walgreens. Um, I had to stop in there to get something else. So I picked this up because it was just like chilling and staring at me. So yeah, I love this and this was around like six dollars at the drugstore really so inexpensive and it is a really good dupe for the beauty blender another thing that i picked up at the drugstore was this another real techniques brush and this is the sculpting brush it is the pink one and i love all Re real techniques brushes so i know i'm gonna love this one this one actually claims to be really great to define your contour so i'm really excited to try this out i don't know if you can see it but i will insert a close-up and yeah i had to get this one so i got another real techniques brush and then I picked up some Ardell Glamour Lashes in the 102 Demi style, and I absolutely love them. I'm wearing them today, and I can't get enough of them, so I had to pick up another pack. And these have actually lasted me like seven uses. I take really good care of my lashes. I don't know. I just kind of take off the glue really carefully when I take them off, and yeah. So in New York City, I said that I went to a few makeup stores. One of them that I also went to was Inglot. I got another one of their 77 Gel Liner in black. I absolutely swear by this stuff. I love it for winged eyeliner. I'm not wearing it today, but it makes the most crisp liner I think you can ever get, and it lasts all day long. I love it. And then I picked up the Duraline from Inglot, and this is what you would use in an eyeshadow to create an eyeliner. So it kind of breaks down a powder into a liquid, which I'm really excited about. I've heard a lot of good things about mixing mediums like this, and I wanted to give Inglot a try. And the last thing that I picked up from Inglot is this Pure Pigment. It is in the number, they don't go by like shades or anything, um, it's in the number 85. So if you guys are interested, I did wear this in my previous video. It kind of has like a blue, brown, purple, iridescent kind of look to it. When you look at it in different ways, it appears a different color, which I think is freaking awesome. Like, it's so pretty. Okay, so the next I went to Sephora in Times Square, like I mentioned in the beginning, and that was seriously awesome. I don't even know why I've never been in there before because I've been to New York City before, so I don't understand why I've never gone in, but it is huge, like makeup heaven to the max. I didn't really get a lot of things because I was very overwhelmed walking around, but I did pick up a few things that I wanted to get that I heard was really good. So the first thing would be the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I'm really excited to try this out because I heard a lot of people talk about this and I do have the MAC Fix Plus back there somewhere, but I did wanted to kind of pick up this because I heard a lot of good things. So it basically is a mist for your face, which is like a purified kind of water and um, just kind of hydrates your skin and it makes your complexion kind of radiate and I just want to try this so bad. So Then I picked up a First Aid Beauty Facial Cleanser. I've been kind of breaking out a little bit lately and my skin's going through, I don't know what it's going through. I'm just getting a little bit of bumps everywhere so I wanted to try out a new face cleanser that I felt would help me. So at the checkout I saw this and I heard a lot of good things about First Aid Beauty so I thought it was time I'd give it a try. It says it's safe for sensitive skin and I have a little bit of sensitive skin as well so I thought it would be good for me. It also removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. Oh, okay. This was like $5 at the checkout so really inexpensive. If you wanted to get the big bottle you could of course but yeah. This is by First Aid Beauty. 
And then the last thing that I picked up from Sephora was this Too Faced Melted Liquefied Long Wear Lipstick. I've heard a ton of things about this and I was like, let's go Brie, you just need to try it. Get on the bandwagon already. So it is this melted liquefied lipstick basically. And I got the shade Melted Sugar. And I did wear it already once and mini review. I like it, but it definitely did dry out my lips just a little bit. It made my lips look a little bit chalky. Obviously, everyone else will have a different opinion on it, but I did like the way it applied, which was kind of sad because if it's not going to work for me, I do like how the applicator is. It's a doe foot applicator that kind of has these little bristles on it, but that was like my first impression of it, that it was a little chalky, but yeah, I seriously love the color of this, so I really hope that it does turn out to work for me. And then my favorite purchase of all, I went to MAC in New York which was the Mac Pro store and this is my first time actually shopping at the Pro Studio in New York which was so awesome let me just tell you um, but anyway I was on a hunt for a brush belt for when I do freelance makeup I do have a few prom clients coming up and I wanted to have like a really nice brush belt my other one was kind of not sturdy and I never wore it because it was just hard and I kind of just placed it down on the table and it just didn't look professional and I just wanted a brush belt so I've been wanting the Mac one for like ever and I know I don't work there so it kind of looks a little weird. I just love MAC and I love their brush belt and how it is, how it's made and the feel and texture and everything like that so I just wanted to kind of get it for my own and yeah it's right here and I picked it up and I'm so so in love with it. I did put my brushes already in it but obviously it comes without the brushes. Anyone can get this brush belt. They do sell it only at pro stores um, so that's kind of a bummer but I know that you can get it on Amazon and stuff so yeah in love with it. Oh my god, I've waited forever for this. Every time I go into MAC and I see the girls wearing it, I'm like, I need that in my life. Like, I want it so bad. And now I finally got it. So if you guys are interested in like a brush belt or this one particularly from MAC, you can either get it at their pro store. I don't know if you have to have a pro card to kind of buy it. If you know a friend or anything that can kind of help you out, that'd be good. Um, but they also do sell them on Amazon, so I would kind of look there first or eBay, things like that to kind of get it but yeah I love it and I cannot wait to start using it I already have the brushes in it I'm like already so this was I believe this was like $50 around there so it is a little pricey but well worth the investment for me I think so yeah okay, then I moved on over to Target and picked up a few elf things Elf kind of expanded their collection just a little bit but the one thing that I picked up was the elf blush palette and I've heard a lot of good things about this and I've seen it on Instagram and this one is in the shade light I will take it out to show you I was like so ecstatic when I saw this in the store because when I saw it online it looked so good like higher end and this thing was only six bucks so seriously go invest in it if you want some more blushes because they're awesome and very pigmented I don't know if you can see it, but they're so pigmented and I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. I'm always looking for new blushes because I don't really own too, too many blushes. And then I picked up more of the eyelash curler little uh, protectors, so the replacement pads, because I do own the e.l.f. eyelash curler, but every once in a while I'll notice that it doesn't give me the nice curl that I used to have because I need to replace the little pad in there. So... I needed to get these and I never knew that they made them and I'm really excited about that because now I don't have to go out and buy a new eyelash curler every time it stops working good for me. So yeah, really excited to kind of use these. I know stupid little thing, but had to pick it up. The last thing that I picked up on this little shopping spree would be my Velour Mink Lashes in the Carly Lash. I had to go ahead and support my girl Carly with her new lashes and I think that they are phenomenal. This is totally my style and I cannot wait to start wearing them. So they're so big, voluminous, and just, I don't know, they're definitely a lash that I would definitely wear. And I'm so excited that I picked them up. And I love them. So yeah, this is by Velour Mink Lashes. They were pretty expensive for eyelashes. Let's just put that out in the open. But what could you do? I mean, good lashes are definitely going to cost a good price because they're going to last you like 30 times, and that's awesome. So yeah, these were the last things that I picked up on this little shopping spree. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and kind of go out and buy something if you got intrigued to because I know when I watch these, I'm like out the door halfway through the video. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this and found it somewhat helpful maybe. If you guys did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button wherever it is. And I think that is it. 
I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. And if you do pick up any of these things, make sure to share with me in the comments. I would love to hear your input on it. And I think that is it. So until next time, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.